Hi, Hiram here. I'm going to try another test on this uh, DIY backpacker convection oven that I'm trying to get working. Yesterday I did it using the GSI cup and it burned the muffin really bad. I mean the muffin was still edible but there was like a little more than an eighth of an inch thick burn spot, burn covering on the muffin. So I'm going to try something different today. There's a couple of things that I think was wrong. One was trying to make the muffins in something that's too narrow, which pushes the mix up tall. I'm going to try the, uh, I don't know what you call this, the inner bowl off the zebra billy kit. You know, this thing here. I don't know if it's a bowl or what, but it's stainless steel. I'll leave the sizes and stuff down below. But this will make for a wider muffin. Now it did fill up pretty high. This is the full mix. I'm using the Betty Crocker banana nut this time for a change of pace. I'm going to have to get new mixes soon. But I'm hoping that the width makes this cook a little bit easier. Another thing I think I left it in too long last time the stainless steel really makes a difference as far as temperatures. I've gotten a lot of good input on this uh, back and forth that stainless doesn't heat up as fast as aluminum and vice versa. But I don't know, on the stainless it burned. On the aluminum it just got well done. But this is stainless. I'm going to try it again hopefully. Boy, I'm doing a lot of hopefullys. My thoughts are that the width will save it. The other problem that I think might have occurred, well, a bunch of things i got to try out here. I don't know, this little burner might still be too hot. I do have a little cap thing that I have that goes over this to make the flames a little bit smaller. I can go that route, but I may have to make a smaller burner yet. The other thing that I think happened was, when this is put on there, I have the lower pot stand. That gets hit by the flames, gets red hot. Then there's a can lid, which might be too small. I've had it suggested that I get a bigger piece here so that there's only a small opening on the inside of the oven. That's an idea. But I think what might be happening here is the flames are heating up the lower pot stand, which heats this up really hot, which then transfers it to the aluminum. This gets really hot which then makes the bottom of the pot hotter than what I wanted it to be. I was hoping that air would get in here and circulate and not make it quite as hot, but I think this is conducting heat all the way through this. So what I'm going to try today is some thicknesses of carbon felt, put that on there, and then the pot stand, the top pot stand on that, hoping that this will, there I go hoping again. My thoughts are, that this should insulate the heat that's being conducted up through the pot stand, metal plate, and then the pot stand. I think this should separate it and just have the hot air on it. So, let me light this. I also punched four holes on the bottom of the outer case here just to get more air into it to cool it off a little bit. Okay, I've got this on the bubbler, that's lit, put the lower plate, center it on the flames, the upper plate, the carbon felt, put this back together, the muffin mix on top of that, the outer case on here, closed and the lid and let's see where this goes this time I won't let it go to 25 minutes I'll check it earlier so we'll be right back I think you can see how the bottom pot stand there on top of the plate is getting all red from the flames that's the heat that I think might have been conducted up through the metal plate and the other pot stand so I think that the uh, carbon felt on that will isolate it from that heat and not heat up the bottom of the muffin mix so fast. 
hope you can see the bubbler back there going to town. See if it bubbles here. There it goes one, two. So that's working pretty good. Again, the flame might be a little bit too big. Maybe I have to put a cap on there and make it a little smaller. But that's something else I can test. Okay, we're a little bit over like 13 minutes, 13 and a half minutes. And I'm getting some smoking here. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, it's raised up. Here, I'll take a picture. This is, it's looking nice, but I'm seeing some smoke coming up from it. Like it's uh, overdoing again. Let me get my toothpick. No, it's still wet inside. Quite wet. I don't know. This looks like it's going to be burned again. Maybe the stainless steel just isn't the way to go. I'll let this go a little bit longer. See, see how bad this is going to burn. Be right back. Okay, what I've done now real quick is I put that cap on. It makes for a smaller flame. See if this helps because I think I'm really burning up this muffin. But let me get the muffin and stuff back on. Here I think you can see what I mean by a smaller flame. All that is is a uh, cup from a tea light candle. I punched a one inch hole on it so it narrows down the flame a little bit. Uh, I could probably make a couple of these in different sizes just to see what it does. Um, I'm not sure now. I don't smell the burning anymore but the damage may already be done. We're up to 18 minutes now. But the inside of the muffin was still wet. So, see what happens. We're now about 20, almost 27 minutes into the test. I think this got bollocks up a little bit. I changed the flame, put a cap on the burner to make the flame a little bit smaller. Put a thermometer in here, and every time I check it, it knocks the temperature down. But it seemed to be holding at about 295 since I took down the flame before it was higher than what this thermometer could read which is 392 degrees it would go up to that and just kick it out so it's going up again it's 277, 280 going back and forth there I don't know if it's going 279 before the highest it got was 290 let me see what this looks like Nice little muffin from the top, quite large. Yeah, I don't think it's, no, it's not quite done. Still. Yeah, the stuff sticking on it. So I'm going to let this go for a little bit longer and see what happens. Here okay, we're now at 35 minutes. This is hovering at about 281. 281 degrees up to about uh, I think it got up to 289, 290 again 30, 35 minutes let's see what this looks like uh, I think it's definitely going to be burned around the edges but let's see if it's getting done in the middle still a little undone on this one side so let's go for a couple more minutes. Yeah, now going on 45 minutes. As far as timing goes, this this uh, test is really messed up because I've had to open this up too many times. Okay, let's see what the toothpick test does. Okay, looks like it's coming out clean. Let's take this apart. Whoa. Yeah, I can see it's burned around the edge. So we'll take this off, put that there, yeah it's burned around the edge, darn it. Take this off. And that's what I did, I just put this tea light cap with a one inch hole punched in it, put that on top of the burner to try to knock the flames down a little bit. So let's let this set for a couple minutes and we'll see what kind of damage I did. Be right back. Alright, sorry that was a little bit longer than I thought it would be. Got called away to the phone. 
I had this cooling off so that we can get it out of the pan. Now what I did instead of just laying this on a tabletop was I put it on that rack that I sometimes use for baking. That way air circulated around. Hopefully so that this, there I go hopefully again. My thoughts are that then it won't keep cooking as much. Okay, this is still warm to the touch but I can handle it. Let's see what happens. Oh, it comes right out. Yep. Nice and <laughs> crispy burnt on one side, but not the other. I wonder what side. That was the left-hand side. But the other side, real nice. That's what I'd like to get the whole thing to look like. Let's flip that over. Let's open her up. <clears throat> Take that off. I'm going to cut it through the burn. Okay, now this is banana nut. Now this is burned on one side. Wow. Nice on the inside. It's about a little more than an eighth of an inch shell there on this one side that's burned. The whole rest of it is perfect. Let's try this. Yep, tastes good. So I'm getting closer. Maybe it's that I have to put something on this to restrict the flames a little bit. I've had several say that this was probably way too hot. And it just might be. But why only on the one side? Hmm. Okay, so there you go. There's another bake test. Betty Crocker banana nut. That ought to be good for lunch. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.